Oh man, someone already used that design. I better go server down. What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top three reasons you might wanna take a second look at using Canva as your primary place to create social media images to grow your business and brand. So kicking it off with number three, and this is something that I found is a downside of all SaaS applications, but particularly Canva recently, is that it is 100% online based. So when they're doing maintenance or the website's down for any reason, kiss all your images goodbye. So if you haven't gone and backed everything up, I've several times I've gone on and be like, oh, I need to fix this social media image or I need to fix my YouTube thumbnail and I'll go on and I'll try and do it and I'll get this server down maintenance and then you're just kind of like, okay, great. Well, I either need to take down my post or I get to wait, you know, a couple hours before it comes back online. So it's definitely something you want to keep in mind when you're comparing Canva to desktop based applications or applications that are native to your phone. So, you know, when you're looking to create images, when you're cut off from the internet, like that's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to get your stuff. And so sometimes that can be a big factor in determining whether or not you choose Canva as your primary place to make your social images. And then that brings us to number two, which has to do with the designs themselves. And this is a trap all successful, you know, creative design companies fall into. As a ClickFunnels user, I have this gripe, and that is that the templates or suggested designs Canva provides to you are starting to become a little overused. And what I mean by that is if you go to make an Instagram post or a Facebook post, once you start looking at enough of them, you'll start to recognize what service or platform they're coming from. So for example, in the early days, I like to use the different things Canva gave me a lot. Like they have some great fancy looking templates that I could just plug in my social media text and bam, there's my cool inspirational quote for the day. However, as time has gone on and as they've become more popular, I've noticed that a lot of their temp, a lot of people are just using their templates over and over again. And all of a sudden my image isn't cool anymore. It isn't unique anymore because there's 12 other people using the exact same image or exact same layout. So it's really easy to fix this, you know, just be a little more creative, create your own, but it is definitely a drawback because now you're being forced to be a little more creative where in the past you were able to just, oh, I like this template and bam, go with it. And that leads me to reason number one, Canva might not be a good solution for you and that is source files. Even though they have brought on some collaboration tools, if using the free version and even using the paid version, you are stuck using Canva. Like there's no PSD file that you can export and send off to somebody else to edit. There are creative ways that you can get around this with editing, but everything has to be done through Canva. So if you're looking for a solution that is going to give you a lot of flexibility in terms of ownership of your files and being easy, easily able to create different file formats, so Canva is limited to PDF, JPEG, and PNG. That's pretty much it. If you need another type of file, you need something more advanced, you need to do advanced editing. Canva is definitely not for you. It's just for the quick and dirty. Let's make this cool looking image and post it to, you know, X platform. Use it as your YouTube thumbnail, use it as your Instagram, you know, quote or whatever. Anything beyond that, you're not going to be able to export a raw file that you can easily edit. And of course, you can't export PNG and then open it up in Photoshop, but then you're back at the same reason why you started using Canva in the first place because you probably didn't want to bother with Photoshop. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable and it gave you some things to think about as you choose Canva versus some other solutions out there to create your social media images. If you have any comments or questions about Canva, go ahead and drop those in the comment section below. I do read and reply to every single one. And then go ahead if you are a fellow entrepreneur, freelancer, someone who just has a message that they want to share share with the world, you're working on growing your audience and your business, then I encourage you to subscribe and definitely hit that like button right now because over on my YouTube channel, I'm going from A to Z and everything in between to put together a online business from scratch. And I'm also documenting the entire process of creating a webinar sales funnel from scratch. So I encourage you to come join myself and fellow aspiring entrepreneurs 
on this crazy journey of building our businesses and growing our audiences. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.